In this episode, as our 2021 cruise comes to an end, it's another day and another island. Welcome aboard. Good morning from Aubrey Island, part two. A beautiful, calm, cool morning. It's probably my favorite part of these morning walks. It's just, on the one hand, how connected you feel to everything, and on the other hand, that there doesn't seem to be anyone else or anything else in the world. Take a couple of seconds and enjoy it. In the late morning, we decided it was time to leave the dock and get going on the next leg of our trip. It's a bit of a narrow passage coming into that dock, so I decided that the easiest thing, and probably the safest, was just to back out. The water is pretty shallow on the port side, so I had to be very conscious of that. But nobody around, no other boats, super easy. And just making our turn to port, leaving Aubrey Island, and taking us east. We were not too sure where we wanted to go next, but we'd heard good things about Camelot Island, and thought, yeah, let's go explore that and check it out. It was so late in the season, I really wasn't worried about not finding a dock. Okay, here's the route. Aubrey Island is the red circle on your left, so we left there, deked around Bostwick Island, up towards Hay Island, which is the one on your screen, and then just followed it and coming in towards Camelot Island from the northwest. Very, very close to the U.S. border. And so that landmass to the lower right of the screen is America. And that's Camelot Island on your port side. We're coming up from the southwest right now. And uh, no shortage of dock space at all. Uh, there was one other boat there. I tend to dock on the port side because we've got some ladders mounted there. It just makes it easier to, uh, to get on and get off the dock.
and there we were. Camelot. I mean, Camelot. It's only a model. Shh. <laughs> Seems to be a fair amount of climbing. Which way are we going? Up the stairs? That's America over there. And taste the freedom. And once you get to the top of many, many steps, that's a really nice view. Chloe seemed to enjoy it, but of course she always does. You want to sit on a chair, Chloe? Hey, <laughs> you're so focused on something. Hey, what's going on? And as is usual with these parks, you get a nice pavilion or two. It's kind of sitting nestled in the woods here. I continue to be really impressed with with the park facilities and how well they're maintained and really for a couple of hundred bucks a year this is a pretty good deal there are stories of people who will come in late at night and leave early in the morning to avoid paying the park fees that's foolish and selfish why not pay the money look at what you get for it Nice clean toilets, pavilions, you can buy firewood, great trails. It's a good deal. And the dog is just like, she saw a couple of squirrels chasing each other around a tree and she went a little insane. Right, Chloe? And ignoring me. It was only a short run between Aubrey Island and Camelot, but what a great decision. Brand new docks, really wide, and as you can see, we had our choice of space. Leaving the trip until later in the season was a really good decision. It's certainly more peaceful and something we'll do again next year. Hey everybody, if you like what you saw, click that like button, hit subscribe, tell your friends, send us your comments, and we'll see you next time on Aquilibrium. Don't ever stop exploring.